Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your cam camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the city. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. I would love to chat, but Marcus Stuyvesant was a god to us struggling artists. Enter whenever you're ready, sir. Just mind the other guests. Eyes open. I want to blend in. Yes, sir. Got it. You're not allowed to be here, sir. I'm talking to you.
damn it. Cornelia, I told you to come alone. Why is she talking to Lucy Phillips? I'm on back for now. Marcus, hope you are keeping yourself out of trouble. Trying to keep a low profile? So? Have you talked to your daughter? Hello, sir. That's none of your business. Everything here is my business. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you are down here? Carl is not my keeper. And you better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted her. Don't worry, Marcus. Your secret is safe with me. Carl knows nothing. And I hope you won't forget that. You know... I gave you a very moving eulogy during my speech. I'm sorry I missed it. Yes, so am I. Stay safe. And remember who your friends are. I hope your talk with your daughter gives you some closure. And you remember I've done you more than just one favor. I will. my new guard now. I am a very important person, and I don't have any security at the moment. You know how that makes me feel. Well, sir, he's still listed as having entered the building. Where's the one we assigned? Make sure you do. I need this, as I'm sure his royal highness has instructed you to. So just get me my security now. Yes, sir, and I apologize. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You better. Excuse me. I've talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. M maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? Oh, sorry, I'm just backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the tech stuff. Okay. Doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Well, same to you, sir.
Why is this not working? Mm, so unprofessional. Art is money and it needs to be perfect. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not oh. done yet. Someone's been hurt! Just a precaution. I've been personally well, invited right by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clear what your name is, Zayn Ghazali. Sir, I understand. Is this going to go can't back? Answer without being certain. How are you today, sir? Excuse me, if you're coming through, I have to frisk you. Only take a minute, okay? Hey there, big guy. 
Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. You're good to go, sir. Thank you for your patience. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Looking good, man, looking good. yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you How shortly. You? Thank you. Sir, you need to pick that up. How are you, sir? Have a seat, Mr. Kazim. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taken care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out.
No access through here. Please leave. Yeah, just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother or I have to shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, have a good shift tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye. issued one tomorrow morning. You know how it works? But I like the things that are I don't. Here. It's easy. Our Royal Highness has Two never complained about it before. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram... Gotham 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. <laughs> 